I have a nice, a nice story to tell. I, um, I was at a, at a convention. We were invited to, to India by a local insurance company here in, in Venezuela. So um, I went there and, um, and as soon as I got to India, to Delhi, we started you know, trying to talk with people around and, and it was a bit difficult because we, we didn't have the fluency of the communication. I, I would say like, um, please, um, could you bring my luggage to room 1301 or 1302? And, and the guy would look at me in the eyes, he would stare at me and, and stare like two minutes and then he said, what happens here? Um, I, you know, it takes so long. But in the end, these, um, these um, the Hindu people are so service oriented that they would do it. In the end, they would do it. But it took me a long time. So as I spent a couple of days, um, I had trouble at the bar, I had trouble, you know, um, calling for a spa, for a massage or whatever, going to the pool. And um, so one day, after three days in Delhi, I was at the lobby and I saw a Sikh guy. Sikh is the most religious people in India. And he would, he was from far away, he was from Bangalore or from, from elsewhere, but he spoke in English with an Indian accent. He said, Sir, could you bring my luggage to 1304? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he would say three times thank you. So I said, so I heard him and I, and I said, well, tonight I'm going to practice. So I went to the bar and um, when I arrived to the bar, I said, Sir, could you bring me one whiskey, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. With a lot of ice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the, and the guy came in seconds. You can't imagine. He came in seconds with the whiskey. And I, was, I, I spent like three days begging for a whiskey. And they never came, and, and it came like 10, 20 minutes later. So in order to have a pleasant travel, I have to mimetize, I have to um, try to speak to them in the same language or in the same accent, or try to do an effort to talk in their language. So I apply this to every country I visit, and I travel, and I'm, it's good for business, it's good for meeting people, it's good for having long-standing relationships and friendships. So my advice is, if you want to engage new customers, engage new people, engage new clients and new persons, the best way is to learn a few things about their language.